In this video, we learn how to find the intersection line of two planes in 3D space. On the right hand side of the screen, I've drawn two planes which we can see intersect along this line. Those planes are pi 1, whose equation is written here, it's x plus y plus z equals to 3, and pi 2, whose equation is here, it's x plus 2y minus 3z equals to 1. And you can see on my sketch here that I've drawn normals to each of these planes. Indeed, this blue vector n1 is a normal to the plane pi1, and this green vector n2 is a normal to the second plane pi2. Okay, so that's the setup. Now, how do we find the equation of this line of intersection of these two planes? And that's the line I'm drawing right now in purple here, or dark pink. Well, just as for any line, to define this line's vector equation, we need two things. First of all, we need a direction vector of this line. In other words, we need a vector which is parallel to it. Secondly, we're going to need the position vector of any point on this line. And to find both of those things and consequently find this line's equation, we can follow four steps. The first step, step one, is to define normals to each of the two planes we have. For that, all we need is to look at the coefficients of the Cartesian equations of our two planes. Indeed, just looking at the equation for pi 1, we can state that a normal n1 to the plane pi 1 has components 1, 1, 1. And all I've done there is read the coefficients of x, y, and z. In a similar way, I can define the vector n2, which is a normal to the plane pi 2, and its components are 1, 2, negative 3. And again, all I've done is look at the coefficients of x, y, and z in the second plane's equation. Now that I have the two normals, I move on to step two. And in step two, I find a direction vector, and I'll write that, that's direction vector, vector of the line. And for that, if I call it u, that direction vector is equal to the cross product or vector product of the two normals we just found. And here's why. The line of intersection of these two planes is in both the first plane, pi 1, and the second plane, pi 2. Since it's contained in the first plane, pi 1, it must be perpendicular to the normal to that plane, so it has to be perpendicular to n1. And since this line is also contained in the second plane, pi 2, it must also be perpendicular to this second normal, n2. And we know by very definition that the vector product of two vectors gives us a vector which is perpendicular to them both. Consequently, the cross product is a vector which is parallel to the line of intersection. And so we can use it for a direction vector of this line. So let's go ahead and find it. The direction vector u is equal to the cross product of n1 and n2. And we can use the determinant of a matrix method here, so I can draw my determinant with the base vectors i, j, and k at the top. And the second row consists of the components of the first vector, so that's 1, 1, 1. So I'll just write that there, that's 1, 1, 1. And the third row will be the components of the second vector in the product, so that's going to be 1, 2, negative 3. So I write that here, that's 1, 2, negative 3. And now before doing this, I should say that if you're used to using another method or simply a formula to find the vector product, by all means use it. It will lead to the same result. But carrying on this way, this equals to the determinant of 1, 1, 2, negative 3 times i minus the determinant 1, 1, 1, negative 3 times j plus the determinant 1, 1, 1, 2 times k. That's equal to 1 times negative 3, which is negative 3, minus 2 times 1, so that leads to negative 5 times i minus. 1 times negative 3, so that's negative 3, minus 1 times 1, so that's negative 4 times j, plus 1 times 2, which is 2, minus 1 times 1, so that's just 1. There we go. And now simplifying this, we quickly find that a direction vector u of the line is equal to negative 5i plus 4j plus k. And that's step two, done. We now have a direction vector for our line. We move on to step three. Remember, we had said that to find this line's equation, we need two things. A direction vector, which we just found here, and the position vector of any point along this line's length. And so that's what we're going to do now. 
and I'll just write find, find point on line. There we go. And here's the trick for finding a point on the line. Using both of these planes equations, we're going to let either one of the three variables equal to zero. And I have a tendency of always letting z equal to zero in both of the equations. Here's what I mean. I'm just going to go ahead and write let z equal to zero, so that this first planes equation becomes x plus y equals to three, and the second planes equation becomes x plus two y equals to one. And just to make that clear, that top equation is from pi one, and the bottom one is from pi two. And the reasoning here is that there must be a point on this line whose z coordinate is zero. And so replacing z by zero in both of these planes equations leads to this pair of simultaneous equations. And so solving this pair of equations will lead to the coordinates of the point on this line whose z coordinate is zero. So let's go ahead and solve these. We quickly see that if we were to subtract the first plane from the second plane, we'd eliminate the x's. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll say pi two minus pi one, and that leads to x minus x, which is zero, so nothing to write there, plus two y minus y, which is just y, and that's equal to one minus three, which is negative two. And so we now have the y coordinate of the point. All we have to do now is plug this value of y into either one of the two planes equations and solve for x. And I'll go ahead and use the equation for pi one. And I'll just write that here, that's pi one becomes x plus negative two equals to three, which leads to x equals to five. And we now have all three coordinates of the point on the line whose z coordinate is zero. Most importantly though, we now have the coordinates of a point on this line. And we could even define it as point A whose coordinates are five, negative two, zero. And I'll go ahead and box that. That's our step three done. Finally, step four, we find the equation of the line. And I'll just write equation of line. There we go. Well, using the direction vector we have here, as well as the coordinates of point A, we can quickly define this line's vector equation as x, y, z equals to the position vector of point A, so that would be five, negative two, zero, plus some parameter, which I'll say is t, times the direction vector. So its components would be negative five, four, one. That's negative five, four, one. And we're done. We've just found the vector equation of the line of intersection of these two planes. And that's it for this tutorial.